there's some premature failure on it. A costly mistake along one of Sacramento's major east-west corridors has left drivers frustrated and has put Caltrans under a glaring spotlight. A multi-million dollar resurfacing job done three years ago has to be fixed now at a cost of more than three times the original price tag. Many of our viewers reached out and asked us this question, what exactly went wrong on the Pioneer Bridge? CBS 13's Tony Lopez is getting answers. It cost $6.6 .6 million in 2014 to resurface the deck on the Pioneer Bridge, the stretch on Highway 50 over the Sacramento River connecting the capital city to West Sacramento. The material they used, resin with some rock aggregate, was supposed to last about a decade. It hasn't come close. Three years later, Caltrans is being forced to do it all over again at a price more than three times the cost from 2014. Andy Alvarado is the man in charge of construction for Caltrans in the North Region. He agreed to take us for a ride over the bridge where 100,000 vehicles travel on through every day. We wanted answers, starting with what went wrong with the original work. Actually, what we think is we just experienced some premature failure on it. Uh, so we think it was, it was more of a materials issue rather than a uh, kind of a, a construction issue. But, uh, so for whatever reason, it didn't stick to the surface. So how are they making sure it won't happen again? Working overnight, 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. until Labor Day, crews will be laying down polyester concrete. Unlike last time, the material won't be placed by hand, but a paver. The cost of the project, about $25 million, a huge jump from the $6.6 .6 million three years ago. That's a big difference in, in life and durability, certainly. So uh, that's kind of why the difference. In cost. So will taxpayers have to foot the bill for this redo? Well, that's what we're working on right now. Uh, uh, we're having you know, have conversations with the supplier and, like I say, our legal folks to determine what the next steps are to, to recoup the, the taxpayer dollar. For now, the state will use money from its highway maintenance account. Then we'll likely file a claim with the manufacturer of the original resurfacing job. Now, Caltrans is asking drivers to avoid travel on the bridge, if possible, during nighttime hours. For alternate routes and a timeline of the work, head to our website, cbs13.com. We've set up a link to the Caltrans.